Hi everybody, I'm Danelle with the Jane Deere Girls and for my favorite things this week I'm going to talk about how I put on my stage makeup. The first thing you want to do is put on some moisturizer. I'm not really super picky but I'm going to use Olay Anti-Wrinkle with SPF 15 sunscreen because sunscreen is usually a good thing. So I start by putting on lotion. If you want your skin nice and moisturized before we put on any makeup. That's step one. The second thing I'm going to do is use a primer. A primer basically, um, this one is actually by Bare Minerals, but you can get one um, by MAC, Sephora, whatever you want. Primer helps your makeup stay on. And again, you just apply it on top of the moisturizer, just all over your face, and that's going to help your makeup stay all day long. Now, today I'm going to be using mostly MAC makeup, because they've been endorsing us, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to start with the concealer under the eyes. I'm actually using a mixture of MW20, MW25 Matte Pro Longwear Concealer. Ooh. When I had a consultation at MAC, they helped me uh, pick out these two different colors because for my specific skin color, there wasn't one that matched perfect. I use my wrist to blend. You can use a palette if you want, <laughs> or you can do it the cheap way like what I do. I put a little bit of both in there, and I blend them like that. Now I use my fingers to apply. You can also use a brush. A lot of makeup artists that are really professional would probably use a brush. And since my skin is moisturized, it goes on really easy. I apply it underneath the eye and then also on the eyelid that putting it on your eyelids also going to help your eye makeup stay on longer before I apply my foundation I'm going to put on a headband just because I don't want my foundation to get all on my face I'm going to be using Mac again today this is a really a, a little bit of a heavier base that I would recommend for every day it's called studio fix fluid SPF 15 is also in this and I use NC25 and again I just take it and I blend it in with what I already have left from my concealer put some on the wrist and since it's a little bit thicker I also mix it in with some moisturizer so put a little bit of moisturizer on there and then you take a brush and you just kind of blend it all together and you start applying. I kind of start at the base and I make sure to get a little bit of my neck because I don't like to see a makeup line. If you can see a makeup line that's usually a sign that either A you're wearing too much or B you're not blending it. And I just kind of blend it in with my concealer underneath the eyes all over my face. Just like this. And by the way today we are at the Nines Hotel which is Susie and I's favorite hotel in Portland, Oregon. And so we're very excited to have this nice bathroom to use for our My Favorite Things this week. We've kind of been all over the West Coast and so um, that's why we're doing it, not from Nashville. And that is the robe I have on, is actually a Nines uh, robe. And I like to do my makeup in a robe or something that I'm not going to wear for the day only because I will get makeup all over my clothes and that, that's not a good thing. So. So basically, you just blend your base all across your face until it looks even. Sometimes it's good to get really close and do a mirror. Look in the light, just make sure you don't see a line. Blend it into your neck, and then you are ready for your bronzer. The next thing I'm going to be using is a bronzing MAC powder. Voila. And I actually use, it's a, I guess it's a matte bronze, and uh, this is awesome. This is really what helps blend in everything together. Again, I start with the neck because you kind of want it to blend in to your neck. You don't want anything to not blend. And then I start on the cheekbones and work across the face. And this is awesome because it just really helps you kind of flavor in that summer hint of summer tan even when you don't have it. And even in the summer, when I am really tan, I try to wear sunscreen, and so my face is usually a little bit lighter, so this bronzing powder helps blend in 
the tan with the rest of the body uh, to what the, based on uh, the color of my face should be. So I just kind of put that all over my face and I really focus underneath the cheekbones. I try not to get any of the bronzing powder underneath the eyes because that would bring out the bags that you may or may not have. I have them usually because I'm extremely tired. Um, also, if you do have any blemishes or zits that you want to cover, you can use this, this concealer that I use underneath the eyes. Under, underneath your, whatever you use underneath your eyes, you can also use on any zits or blemishes that you have. Right now I don't have any. Thank you. Okay, so, that's the bronzing powder. Blend it into your neck and on your face. For the bronzer powder that I just used, the bronze powder, I used a different brush than what I used for um, my base. This is what I used for my base. It's a little bit of a, it's made for bases. You can find them at Sephora, you can find them at MAC, anywhere. And then uh, this is what I use. It's a little bit softer. And I use this for the bronzing powder, so the brush I use. And now for the blush, I'm going to use a little bit smaller brush, just like this. And I'm going to use MAC. And this one is really, really beautiful. It is called Spring Sheen, Sheer Tone, Shimmer, Blush. And um, this is great for stage. I wouldn't necessarily wear this every day. Um, what I do, I get some in the brush. Like that. Kind of knock the extra off. And I start right underneath the cheekbone. And I just put it on in a circular motion. For stage wear, obviously we wear quite a bit of blush because with the light hitting our face, uh, it's amazing how your cheeks, you think you have on a lot of blush and you get underneath those lights and your face gets just drowned out, which is another reason why for stage wear we use quite a bit of uh, the bronzer as well. So yeah, I just apply some of that onto the cheeks. And uh, again, it's very important, don't use the same brush for your base, your bronzer, or your blush, or you will have a big mess on your face. <laughs> so, that's how you do your blush. Okay, so I don't really need my headband anymore because I have the base on. <clears throat> this is really cool. It's called Bear Study, and uh, it's a paint pot. This is what I put on my eyes before I put any of my colors, and it really helps A, your makeup again, stay on, and B, it's actually really beautiful if you don't really want to put on makeup for the day and you just want to wear one um, basic color. This can act as a color within itself. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. So it's a really beautiful color just to wear if you don't want anything else or you can just wear it underneath everything so that your makeup stays on. It's my favorite thing that MAC makes actually. Very cool. So, here you go. Okay, uh, now I'm going into the eye colors. I start with a nylon frost that MAC also makes. It's an eyeshadow. If you haven't noticed, I don't really use brushes. I use my fingers. So uh, that's just how I do it. You can do it however you want. I always start right underneath the eyebrow. And I go right underneath with the light cream color. And that helps bring out your eyebrow arch. Um, I don't really wax my eyebrows. I just pluck them. And believe me, I have a lot of eyebrows. So. Um, and I love big eyebrows, that's kind of my thing. And this just helps bring out the eye, helps the eye, eyes really pop, and it shows you the shape of your, um, of your eyebrows as well. And I also put this color in the crease of the eye, right there. Now I'm moving on to the basic color that's going to go in the crease of my eyes, and this is by MAC as well, it's called Sumptuous Olive Verlux Pearl. This is kind of like a brown green. This is just one basic look that I use for stage. I'm going to probably do several for my favorite things for the eyes because the eyes are kind of what I like to accent. I'm using a small little brush that I probably got at Walmart. <laughs> and I just kind of start in the crease and work around. that. Then I will move over to the other eye. I get some on there. I kind of flip the extra off. That's important. If you don't do that, then 
the leftover of the makeup seems to just go all over your face. Kind of blend it in with my finger. And then I am ready to move on from there. Now for stage, I might also uh, blend in some, this is like a black sparkle, it's actually called black, black tide velvet. And then I have a brown, which is called Mystery Satin by MAC. And I might blend kind of both, a little bit of both of these in the crease just at the very edge of the eye for stage. Again, I wouldn't necessarily wear this much makeup for every day. Um, this is just, you know, for stage. Take a little bit, flick it off, just put it right in the crease to try and help bring out the eye. Really makes it pop. Maybe right in the crease, okay? Do the same thing on the other eye. Now, you could just stop here if you wanted, but I'm going to bump it up another notch, and this is, again, another product by MAC. It's called Reflex Glitter, and um, I think the actual color is transparent pink. So it looks kind of white, but when you put it on, it goes on kind of pink. You gotta be really careful, because this can go everywhere. I'll show you what it looks like. So as you can tell, it's white, but it's also got a plink flare. So what I'm going to do with this for stage is take a little bit again on my finger, a little dab. And put it right in the crease. And that is cool <laughs> for stage. Again, probably shouldn't do this for every day. I mean, I guess you could, but I'm, you know, thinking it's best for stage. Now I'm gonna go back to my Mystery Satin Brown by MAC, and I'm going to use this just to bring out my eyebrows. My eyebrows and my eyes are kind of my, my thing, I guess. Susie's thing is her lips, and so mine is my eyes. So I just take a little bit of that brown, and I just fill it into the eyebrow to help it kind of pop out a little bit. You gotta be careful. If you put too much in there, it can look unnatural. And I just like to bring them out a little bit. Adds a little bit of color. And I go and do the same thing in the other one. You can also use a pencil for this, but I just like to barely get anything in there to bring out the eyebrows. Okay, that looks good. Now I just kind of blend it in a little bit. Take a, nor you know, a brush and just kind of Blend everything in a little bit so that all the colors go together. And that's the basic eye color that I like for stage. Or actually you could wear it for a night out on the town, you know, a special night out with your girls, that kind of thing. I know not everybody lives on stage like we do. Um, again, probably wouldn't wear it out to the grocery store maybe, but I don't know. Maybe if you want to be a special guy. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go into the eyeliner. Um, MAC makes an incredible liquid eyeliner, which I use, and then I also use a Revlon occasionally. Um, and it's a liquid eyeliner, which uh, really stays. If you want to go out on the town and not have to worry about your makeup running, I would definitely go with the liquid. And I do a line on top. I kind of pull my eye. And I start kind of thin. Sometimes it doesn't go on dark enough. If you want it a little thicker, you can go thicker. I always start with a little bit of a thinner line. And then uh, since this is a liquid, I am going to blend in something with it a little bit later so that it's not so drastic. And then I just do a little bit underneath. So 
the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, MAC, similar to a smudge pot is what some people call it, it's called Black Track Fluid Line, and I'm going to take a brush uh, that's like this, I don't know what you call that, and I'm basically going to put this just on the inside of the eye, so you get some like that, kind of knock off the extra, and put it right underneath there. Some people have actually started wearing white underneath there, and it's really beautiful, or a light blue. Um, for what I'm going for tonight on stage, I chose black. It's more of a smoky approach, I guess, so. Now, I'm going to blend in the liquid eyeliner that I have, going back to, again, the black sparkly eyeshadow from MAC. I'm going to use a brush, it's like this. And I'm going to get a little bit wet, <laughs> get some on there, bump off the extra. I'm going to blend in the liquid eyeliner so that it's not so drastic. Makes it look a little bit smoother. I'm going to go underneath the eye a little bit. And this is the kind of thing, depending on how smoky you want to go, you can really um, play around with this. And if you want it to be really smoky, you can take this black eyeshadow, use it as eyeliner, and just really smoke it in as much as you want to accent your eyes, depending on you know what you're wearing that night or how crazy you feel, I don't know. So, it's one little trick. If you don't want to use the black eyeshadow to smudge it in, you can also use a black eyeliner from MAC, and this is just a normal black eyeliner. You can also use that um, to substitute out for the smudge pot black and put that underneath your crease. I use them, you know, just depending on how I feel, it doesn't matter. You can use either one, so that's just another suggestion. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes, so be very careful. Just put the eyelashes in like that, and you push, boom, and then you go to the other eye. Careful, you don't want to pinch your skin, so make sure you know, you know, where the you're, how you're holding this, and kind of barely do it before you really push down because you don't want to hurt yourself. Now, this is a mascara by MAC, Hot and Naughty. It's a lash mascara that actually has two different ways you can use it. For everyday wear, a little less dramatic, you use bright pink, and it's a little bit less thick. It's really really great everyday mascara and then if you want it to be a little more dramatic for the night out in the town or for a stage type of look you use the purple pull out it's a little bit thicker mascara so I usually get some of the excess off and then I start to apply the mascara I try to do this very carefully because I have pretty long eyelashes and if I put on too much it'll clump everywhere. But I gotta say that this MAC mascara is probably the best mascara I have personally used in a really, really long time. It thickens the eyelashes, makes them nice and long, but does not clump. Then I put a little tiny bit on the bottom eyelashes. Mine are pretty long already, so if I get too much, then that will get on the rest of my face and I'll have black everywhere so you gotta be really careful about that. Sometimes for stage performances or photo shoots we wear you know fake eyelashes if need be but I really prefer just to do a nice thick layer of mascara and uh, this this works pretty well so I would recommend you trying MAC. Here we go. So there's your mascara. Okay, we're almost done. I know you're thinking this is crazy. This is way too much, but it'd be totally worth it. This is a mineralized MAC skin finish. I just use this to highlight uh, to highlight my cheekbones. Um, you know, again, my kind of my things that I like to focus on are my eyes, and then the other thing are my cheeks. I like to really make those cheekbones pop out. It doesn't take very much. It's a highlighter. You can put a little bit on your forehead if you want. And then the last thing that I do 
is some type of lip gloss. Sometimes I'll wear lipstick as well, but for now I'm just going to put on some lip gloss. This is a MAC, just a Dazel gloss. And uh, put that on like this. Here we go. Thank you so much for watching My Favorite Things. I hope you enjoy learning how to put on stage makeup, or I guess you can also call it just a fun night out makeup. And uh, we were going to be posting more of My Favorite Things in the weeks to come, and also I'll be showing you some tips on different ways to wear some crazy eye colors and stuff like that. So stay posted, and we hope to see you in 2011.